Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a golden spiral in Illustrator really quickly. Let's do it. Tip tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut and today we're taking a look at creating a golden spiral inside, golden spiral? Golden spiral inside of Illustrator. Just got a blank canvas here. Um, we're gonna try and make this pretty quick because the last tutorial I did on golden ratios was quite involved um, and making the golden spiral took a little while. So we're gonna come up here to our line tool, long press on it and turn that to the arc tool and we're just gonna draw an arc holding shift whilst we do so. If you go back to your selection tool, you'll see that we've got a perfect um, arc contained within a perfect square. Uh, and we're gonna come up to our transform panel here, which if you don't see, you just need to go to window and then transform. Um, we're gonna come up to here and we're gonna type in the width panel here, 1000 and the height, 1000 as well okay that's all good so that's going to give us a figure that is easy to work with now for those of you that already know the golden ratio is 1 to 1.618 i'm assuming you already know that if you're here watching this so what we're going to do is we're going to divide the uh, width and height of this by that value and then apply some rotations and transforms onto that to um, finish the golden spiral so to do this then, we're gonna go up to um, effects up here, distort and transform, and then transform. And we're gonna be using these figures here to fix this. So uh, understandably, you're gonna to wanna to check preview first and then divide your horizontal and vertical scale by the golden ratio, 1.618. Do that as well for the height, 100% divided by 1.618. Now, if we click somewhere else, we can see that we've created a copy down here, which is scaled by 61.8% or 1.618. We want say maybe seven copies, that should be enough. So we'll just turn that up to seven. Now we're gonna to need to move these sections to create the spiral. So this section needs to be moved up here. This small one would then need to be moved down there as well. But we can do that with just some figures. And this is why it's important we made it an easy number like 1000. Uh, I'm just gonna give these to you. 810 for the first one and negative 190 pixels for the second one. Now that's gonna pop them all in a nice neat line for us here. When we come and rotate these by 90 degrees to make this bottom of the arc meet this top of the arc, boom, complete golden spiral. So if we just hit okay, and now it's important to note you can just turn this up to like 14 if you want to here and it'll make the spiral a lot, lot deeper, but seven is probably enough for you. Let's just hit okay. And if we go inside this by double clicking, you can see that it's still only um, one arc. So you can only select this one up because this is duplication copies. If you want to fix that, you can of course go up to object, uh, expand appearance, and that will turn all of this to a stroke, which you can then manipulate to your heart's content. And that is a perfect golden spiral, which you can overlay onto any content you want to help you with your compositions or your artwork. That's it for now. So thank you very much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that jazz. And I'll see you next time on another episode of Tip Top. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.